The skill we're going to talk about now is the forehand hit uh, goal shot. Now this can happen off both feet, off your left foot or your right foot. Technically, it's something you just need to practice and practice um, to improve all the time. And your feet position, your hand position, and your head position are very important to this skill. Now you can see here in there's the World Cup final, use a couple of 3D skills, just pause it there. This is off my right foot. Now when, when you're running fast, it's easier to get balance when you hit the ball off your right foot than your left foot. I choke down on the stick a little bit, um, so it's a quicker shot. Yeah, my head's nice and balanced over my right leg, so the ball's in a pretty good position. Um, I can hit, I feel confident when the ball's in that position, my head's still, and I can connect well with the ball. And in this instance, the guy comes on me a little bit quickly, so I have to make it pretty quick, but I get the shot off on time, I beat the goalkeeper, and I score. And another important position here, if I'm missing, my teammate on the right post will knock it in for me. So uh, to be able to hit the ball off your right foot, running at pace is a hard skill to learn. It's one of the harder skills, but the more practice, obviously, the better you get. And in the World Cup final, I practiced this a lot. Thankfully, I had the opportunity and I scored the goal. This is a more common hit when you're going off the left foot. Um, you, you just, it gives more natural ability to have the ball, have the weight on your left foot, on your forehand foot, and to swing through the ball. Same as golf, same as cricket, uh, other sports. You like to go on that left foot and it's easier for balance. So here against France in Holland, I make this trap. What I should have done a little bit better is get the ball going towards goal, but then my weight is going towards where I want to hit the ball. It wasn't the perfect first touch. It got a little bit away from me. But as you see, my head position's in a great position again. I'm nice and balanced. My eyes are level. They're not on a tilt either side. They're nice and level. I get that power onto my left foot, which enables me to, to smash the ball into that bottom corner. Inside the circle, you don't have too much time. So when you're in here, you need to be really quick. Um, my rule is you need to be nice and a little bit lower than what you would out in the middle of the field, simply because the ball's coming in, uh, you need to be on your toes, get a quick trap away and a quick shot if the ball comes. Um, best case scenario, you get the ball in the perfect position. Uh, I drop my hands a little bit lower for this and that just quickens up my swing speed, which allows me to stay low. I don't trap the ball, come up and have a really big swing to get a goal shot away because the defender will come and get it. So I like to be nice and quick, bring my hands together, get the ball in the right position and quickly hit the ball towards the goal. It's just practicing your hitting, but a little bit quicker speed, a little bit quicker, shorter backswing. So once again, ball, I get it going towards goal and bang. Quick, crisp swing, which will hopefully put the goalkeeper off guard as well because of the quickness of the shot. You can take a bigger swing if you do have time or you can even go quicker again by dropping the hands a little bit lower. So I'd practice, if you can, dropping the hands low and having a really short grip just to get into that routine, having longer swings and having medium or so swings as well. But most important thing is, you know where the goal is, you don't need to look, you just quickly have a quick swing and you hit the ball crisp right in the direction of where you want the ball to go.